Printers, no live stream today. Um, I got no printer to do for today, although I might, maybe, might have that new Tarantula Pro next week. They're supposed to get stock this week in the U.S., so I might have it by next week, possibly. I have just way too much crap to do here. <laughs> um... Yeah, that video yesterday was just, that pissed me off. Some guy posted a picture of my castle. And, um, which, hey, that happens. That's not really what got me mad. What got me mad is when I, was, I, I replied to him, I was like, dude, that's my picture. You know, that's my house in the background. <laughs> and he accused me of trying to steal the picture. That just pissed me off. <laughs> but anyway, I figure I'll give you guys a short update of what's going on around here. Um, actually getting ready to pack the flash forge into the bus um i have one more print to do on that before i do that um give you guys a quickie update i have the hood ornament i printed for the bus i just have to print the eyes looks kind of creepy without the eyes doesn't it <laughs> so that's going to mount right on the hood of the bus i thought that'd be pretty cool and this is printed in uh, 3d hero wood pla on the flash forge guider too that's uh, 1.2 kilograms of wood PLA. It came out pretty neat. So let me show you guys what's going on here. It's going to be massive. This is all clean clothes. I don't even know what half of it is. Some of it's my sister's, some of it's my brother's, some of it's mine. I just washed everything because it all stank. You know, mildew, musty smell. So I washed everything. And later today, I'm going to go through all of this and figure out what's going with us and what's not going with us if it even has a slight hole or a stain in it it's just getting thrown away i have there's so much clothes here we don't need all this i've almost got this all packed i've started emptying out the cabinet packing it into a crate i've got all that almost emptied out you see the shelves are getting empty that's all boxes and stuff that we're packing away I actually pretty much got the kitchen empty all the cabinets are empty um, the only thing left out is stuff that I'm immediately using, like just a little bit of dishes that we're going to use every day. Everything else is getting ready to be packed away or is already packed away. Some crates ready to be loaded. Still need to check this heater, see if it works. So if it doesn't work, I'm not bringing it, of course. I still have boxes and printers in here to pack up. And here's some stuff I found that's all getting packed up, getting ready to go. Bus. That's all my veggies. All my canned goods. I'll probably have that filled to about here by the time I leave, and then I'll put some more kitchen stuff on top. As you can see, it's getting filled out. I believe I have enough room for about 38 more crates that I can fit in here, plus a little bit over here, but this is going to be appliances, so I have the second microwave that's going to go in here. These are all plugged in, fridge and two freezers. They consume about 140 watts on standby, you know, just they're cycling between 80 and 140 watts, so I could run all of this on the inverter at the front actually this white cord here that's actually running all the way to the front of the bus and then this green cord is what I'm running to the house so when I'm ready to leave all I do is unplug this from here and plug it into the white cord and then I'll run to the inverter up front you can see all the stuff up there all printers all of this is going to be relatively important stuff kitchen stuff dishes things that we're going to need once we get there the stuff up there will be stuff that we don't need access to right away because it's going to take me several months to empty this bus out. If I need power for whatever reason, I have a generator. Um, I couldn't get the big generator going. I'm probably going to leave that behind. i got to lock my toilet paper in the bus because they're stealing all my toilet paper. So I'm not going to take a chance. Just locking it up in the bus. Um, that's it. I have, it's amazing. I think I've spent like $400 on these crates because I have to. In order to be able to take any reasonable quantity of stuff with me, I have to fill this bus to the ceiling like you see. And I have a zillion crates. I have probably, over the last 30 years, I've probably purchased five or $600 in totes and I can't use any of them because they can't stack. These can stack. These are strong enough to be stackable and hold their weight without collapsing. As you can see, I can stack them four high and still have room to put something on top. So that's where things like rockets and small lightweight stuff will go on top. This space here will be left empty because this is where the mattresses will go. This way, if we need access to this, we could just, all we have to do is pull the mattresses out and we can access these on the go. 
and this is now secured so I have a hasp and a lock to allow me to secure it I still have to replace the tires waiting to hear back from him that's all the stuff this is all printers up here and here's the cool part the bus is finally somewhat secure I now have a lock and hasp securing this front door and I also have a way of releasing the bar right there see that orange strap connected to it that goes behind the driver's seat and I can pull it out from the window on the other side when I pull that strap it releases this bar and then I can unlock this and open the door because I don't know if you can see in here I don't feel like opening it. Yeah, you can. So, that space was not empty. There was stuff there. I don't even know what was there, but obviously they stole it. So, now the bus is secure. Front tires are good. Engine's good. Battery's good. The minivan and the electric car and the tracker will be shipped out. I was going to tow the tracker out, but they stole my tow dolly so I can no longer tow the tracker I can't afford to buy another tow dolly they're like $800 for a used one but um, these will be shipped out I got pulled pork sauce for 25 cents a jar so I bought a bunch of that but um, yeah, the quest is filled with all my 3D prints so the entire back of the quest is filled with all of my 3D prints and then that trailer is going with me because that's what I tow behind my electric car and my Geo. Let me show you how am I going to get two trailers out there since I'm only driving the bus, which doesn't have a hitch, and the pickup truck, which does have a hitch. Let me show you. That's going to be a wide angle. There we go. So this is my trailer. I actually built this. Well, it's a, it was a boat trailer, and I built this um, stake body for it. So this is a stack of tires for the minivan and the pickup truck. And that is a full stack of tires for the pickup truck. This is a couple of Geo Metro tires. Back here, washer and dryer will go in the back. Water heater will go here. Two more stacks of tires will go here. I will then put the clothing in waterproof bags and put it inside the tires since those tires don't have rims that means there'll be an empty cavity inside and then I have covers to go over the tires this way I have double waterproof protection and I maximize my space and then if there's any space left over little skibble scabble whatever I can fit in here you know, things like shovels and tools and stuff like that I also have a snow blower it's going to go in here since we do get snow out in Edgewood and then that little trailer over there I'm going to mount that little trailer right on the neck of this trailer right here and then bolt, strap it down because it's lightweight. It only weighs like 200 pounds. So that trailer will go right on top of here and then this will be towed by the pickup truck. And that will be it. i got a bike rack on the back of here. I'm also going to put a bike rack on the back of the trailer because I have three bikes I'm bringing. So that way I could bring all my bikes without having to use interior storage space, which is fantastic. I might even stick the third bike here, like in between the trailer and this body. That'll give it better protection. Uh, we'll see. But I love the fact that I'm gonna have a bike rack on the back of the bus. I just think that's cool. <laughs> this will go in the trailer. I have it out now in case I need it for the electric car. This is, I put this on the back of the electric car when I don't want to throw the trailer. I need to try to get a hitch for that, but I don't know if I'm going to have time or money. So, I'll miss this place. I love that tree so much. I gotta sh I'll post a picture. Matter of fact, I'll make an Imgur link, and I'll post that link down below. I have a picture of the first year we got this house, 1980 or 1981. And you can see that tree is skinny. This tree is literally a sapling. And this tree, this massive, massive pine tree here. Let me give you a view over here. 
this massive pine tree. It's absolutely huge. Actually, I think the pine tree is taller than this tree. Not the sycamore, but taller than this tree. This tree was shorter than the bus. It was about this tall. It was our first Christmas tree. That's our first Christmas tree moving into this house. I'm gonna do the same thing at the new house. Our first Christmas tree is gonna be a ball tree. It has a ball at the bottom, so it has the roots, so you can plant it. And I'm going to try planting our first Christmas tree and see if it becomes as magnificent as this. <laughs> this house is basically unchanged, except that this trim was white when we first got the house, or some kind of light color. Uh, same around the windows, the trim was a light color. And um, I'll miss it. When we first moved in here, the taxes were like $2,000 a year, and now they're $8,000 a year. So in, what, 35 years or so, the taxes have quadrupled. It's insane. Absolutely insane. But what are you going to do? That tree didn't even exist when we moved here. The neighbor's tree right there. But yeah, pretty cool. If you guys have any questions, ask away. I will be posting more videos for the bus as we get going. So I'm still got to install the dash cams, the inverter. I'd like to try to move the driver's seat back a couple inches if I could. I got to put the rear view camera in so I can see when backing up. Because, you know, backing up a 40 foot bus isn't a fun thing to do. And we will go from there. You might get a kick out of i'll post a picture down below um they wanted a copy of the earnest money deposit check basically to show that you're serious you have to provide an earnest deposit it's like a thousand dollars no big deal that counts toward the purchase of the house of course and um they wanted to copy of the check i was like do you want me to just wire the money he's like no we're not there yet because you got to go to the title company because the money goes to the escrow with the title company and once the title company clears the title, meaning I get a warranty deed, um, then the title company releases the money to the bank on closing. But for whatever reason, they wanted a copy of a check they're never going to use because the money's going to be wired. But they want a copy of the check. I don't have checks. I haven't used checks in 20 years. I mean, checks are dangerous because if you write one out and forget about it, well, a lot of fees get attached to that if you screw up with that. My dad was bad at that. So I made a special check. <laughs> yeah, I figured out how to make my own check. I even got the right font for the numbers. They can actually deposit this if they want. And um, I put the the background. You know, he can get checks with pictures in the background, you know, different designs, Star Trek checks, stuff like that. Well, the background of my check is the house the check is buying. <laughs> The real estate agent thought that was hilarious. We're both curious to see whether the bank notices or not. <laughs> so I'll post a link to that down below. I, of course, sanitized it and removed all the identifying information from it. You know, but the one I sent to them will have all the correct information. But yeah, that's kind of funny. So that is it for today. I am sorry for the lack of a live stream. I've really got to get going and start packing some of this stuff. Um, right now I have like an electric snowblower. But I'm thinking about getting a nice gas snowblower. Um, out there, some of this stuff is very, very hard to get. Here, it's very, very cheap to get. Uh, I wish I can get a riding lawnmower to bring with me because I can get a riding lawnmower here, two, three hundred bucks. Out there, eight hundred is the lowest you're going to get one for. Um, I guess just lower population density, so items have more value. And also, um, but the snowblower, I might be able to get for a printer. I actually found a listing for a pretty nice electric start gas powered 21 inch blower, a nice one. Um, it wants to trade for a 3D printer. So we're gonna negotiate. See if I can trade for one of these 105 freaking 3D printers I have. I can get myself a something I could really use, a snow blower out there. So I could, cause I'm, I actually have a pretty decent little driveway. So a snow blower would actually be handy. Um, they got like three feet of snow this past winter. <laughs> That's it. I will see you guys later on. I'll have the um, MakerBox Alien 3D Box video this Saturday for you guys. I've been holding off posting it because I'm waiting for the Profi Box, and Profi Box never came in. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm just going to post with the two that I have because the next Alien Box is about to get here. And um, more later. If you guys have any questions, ask down below.